I'm wearing a bucket hat and holding a bucket bag. Hi there, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Florence. I would really love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel and joining this family. And if you're already a subscriber and you're coming back to watch another video by me, thank you so much and welcome back. And if you're one of those people who keep watching my videos and you're not subscribed, um, yeah, like, I think it's time to subscribe now. Don't be shy, just click the red subscribe button until it's gray and you'll be subscribed to the channel and that would really help me out a lot in today's video i'm back with another uh collective haul yes that's the word that i was looking for i was like clothing haul and other stuff what that doesn't sound right but yeah um welcome back to yet another collective haul from me these are items that i got around late december and up until like yesterday so yeah if any of these items are still available i'm gonna link them in the description box for you and if there's no link then unfortunately it means that <laughs> there's no link but i don't want to ramble too much i want to get straight into the video and i really hope that you enjoy this video i'm first gonna start with shoes i've got three pairs of shoes to show you guys <laughs> the first pair is this cutie right here oh my gosh I love this heel so much it's a it's a kitchen heel right yeah it's I got this shoe from the surprise I'm sure you guys are very familiar with it um, yeah I got it late December and this was like 50 rand I know that's crazy I saw this because I saw it in the first launch I'm like nah I'm definitely not getting this shoe and yes the price did encourage me to buy it but once i got it i love it so much and i love the fact that it's black it goes with everything and the reason why i'm so much into kitty heels right now is i went through a phase way like because i love sneakers right i love casual outfits but i don't want to look like a tomboy and i don't want to look too casual so kitty heels really really help with giving you like a smart casual vibe outfit so i'm really really loving this and i got in size four i've seen it in a couple of stores i think i've seen it in pe and it was like a big big size so i'm not too sure if you'll be able to still get your hands on the shoe but if you do find it in store and in your size i would highly recommend that you buy it you won't regret it it goes with everything and it's comfortable and it's a cute shoe and all those three things are kind of an essential ish the next pair of heels and i know you guys are no stranger to these heels they're pretty much all over instagram and i'm sure we all know someone who owns a pair of these shoes and these are the shoes that i got it's the strappy strappy heels i'm just gonna call them strappy heels guys yo i'm not gonna pay too much attention to the names uh, it's tie tie up sandal yeah it's a tie up sandal but i would just call them strappy heels um yeah when i saw these i also saw them and i like them like but then i don't need to spend that much on shoes i think they were like 300 rand somewhere there um and then i saw them on sale the fix was running a sale and they were like 170 when i thought to myself 170 right or 180 but so i thought to myself Flo, you definitely need to get these and they in white and right now i really really love the whole trend of tying um your the straps of your shoes around the the the, the jeans because now like loose mom jeans balloon jeans are trending right now so this is gonna complement very very nicely and besides that i saw a video on instagram this girl did a reel where you can have like where you can style the shoe four ways if you already have these shoes i'm gonna link um i'm gonna put a link to that reel so you guys can check it out it's like having four pairs of shoes in one shoe so i think that's pretty cool you guys should check it out if you already own these shoes unfortunately they sold out online but i've seen them at green acres the green egg is in pe as well so some of these stuff they might be sold out online but yeah if you've got time or if you're in town you can pop in the shops and just check if they still um have them available so yeah this is the shoe that i got i really 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 love it i can't wait to style it like yeah i can't wait the last pair of shoe that i have for you guys 
last pair of heel is from Bushini. This is she. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I'm a bit uncomfortable with platform heels because I feel like they make my foot look a bit chunky. But I'm actually excited to wear this shoe whenever I get the chance to. Um, this one I also got it on sale. Like the majority of these stuff, guys, that I got there on sale. And I actually have something similar. I noticed when I got home that while well, I actually have the same thing in pink. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this. The only thing I will say though is I thought that platform heels are supposed to be the most comfortable, but I find this a bit um challenging to walk in not challenging but they're not as comfortable as i was expecting them to be but it's still fine i love the shoe so much and i got this for it was 250 i got it for no 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 it was on sale for 250 and for shini likes having like an extra markdown on sale item so it went from 250 to 180 and i really really love it it's a beautiful shoe the next item that I want to show you guys and I'm sure you wouldn't be surprised if you actually follow me on Instagram you'd know that I love love two things yeah there are two things that I really really love it's sneakers and mini handbags this is a bucket handbag from um, bucket bag bucket bag I'm wearing I'm holding my bucket bag while I'm wearing a bucket head and holding a bucket I'm wearing a bucket hat and holding a bucket bag. <laughs> so this I got from Fushini. It was also on sale for like 250 rand. Um, under the Luella brand. I love it so much. I love it. I love the color. Um, I love wearing denim and white. For me, it's like a no-brainer or all black. And yeah, so the best way to dress up or to accessorize a bag, I feel, is with uh, my bag or with my shoes i used to love jewelry um i don't wear jewelry so much anymore but it's funny i just mentioned that i don't wear a lot of jewelry and now i'm gonna show you a watch i got this watch from mr price from the men's section this watch you guys it reminds me of the casio watches i can't remember when i saw this watch but i saw it so it was years ago but the first time i saw it i saw it in gold i was like wow this is so nice this is a beautiful watch but then i saw the price and i was like mm, yeah it's fine this watch was like a hundred rand and yeah i'm so thankful to my brother he actually made me aware of the the watch that they were selling okay i've actually seen them sell it at sports scene in gold but i did not like the fact that it had red bat written on it so this one is just i mean it's not a casio it's just a watch and gee and i love it i just wish it was gold but i kind of like it even though it's not gold it's still fine the next accessory that i have to show you guys is the one that i'm wearing right now it's a necklace I got this necklace from Foshini. it was 79 rand it was on sale they still have um a few zodiac signs available i'm gonna link them for you guys to check that out um i'm in aquarius so it was kind of like a no-brainer i don't think there's much to say about this necklace but yeah i really like it it's dainty and it's really cute now i'm gonna move to the clothing items i'm gonna start with mr price i'm really enjoying mr price i've got good pieces that are also affordable the first item um is this trapeze dress I always I don't know why I always do this. I put up the clothes and you guys can't see but yeah Yeah, y you know what? Nice yeah. baby too. Um, I've noticed that in the Oak Ridge range whenever I buy stuff from me, it's a bit bigger So yeah, I got this um, It's it's a trapeze dress, but without the sleeves sleeveless trapeze dress, I think I got it for 140 rand. I like the idea of this dress, but I have a thing with my arms. I don't really like showing them. So I'm thinking, am I gonna keep this just because I want a trapeze dress or or what? Like I'm I'm just 
having a battle with myself about this dress but i love it and it goes all the way down to it doesn't hit the ground but like it's very very long i love it i'm still thinking about whether i'm gonna keep this one but i think i should maybe my mom hears me saying this she's just gonna roll her ass because she keeps saying like you always return your stuff when you buy them online but like see that's the thing um i've noticed that online they've got a wide variety i've noticed that they launch um a lot of their products online first before they go to the store so that's why i buy um a lot of mr price items online because in store i can't find them but sometimes i have the issue where what i see online and what i actually get is not the same thing so yeah for me it's like a win-win thing like if i don't like it i can always take it back and if i like it yeah, great for me i've got something that is not in store yet the next item it's actually pajamas it's silk pajamas it's satin pajamas so they claim online this is what i was talking about you see when like when i saw this the picture looked beautiful you guys i was like yes this is what i need right now you know um it, i was expecting it to be shinier than this like it's a very muted satin is it did they say satin or silk or whatever i can't remember if they used satin or silk either one of them but i was expecting it to be shinier than this so also with this item i'm still going back and forth on myself do i want to keep it do i want to return it like i don't know but then since it's black i feel like i can get away with it but for me it's like why is the picture online different than the actual product that i'm receiving but yeah what can i say i got this in a medium and it was 190 rand and they've got another one it's a baby blue floral set um yeah i'll, I'll just link it for you guys and then you can check it out when you check out the links i guess if you're interested um so yeah this is what i got from mr price the pajamas it's very lightweight i won't lie but i actually wanted it to be shinier than what it is and i'm even starting to think to myself how about i just save up money and buy a good quality pajama set instead of buying a lot of instead of buying a lot of pajamas that are not even real satin but i can't get myself to spend like one k on pajamas like sure so now we're moving on to the fix the first thing that i got are these mom mom shorts i really like them i just wish i got the darker denim wash but then uh, the more i look at this i'm like actually you know it's doable i can work with this it's fine i got it in the size 10 and this was on sale i got it for 120 it was 200 rand they were running like um what was it i don't know what they call that sale but a lot of the items were on sale i'll show you another piece um and the prices were pretty good well i think they were really really good um yeah so i love these shorts um i'm kind of feeling weird about tight stuff tight short stuff so that's why i opted for the mom shorts because i know that the fit would have to be a bit baggy so i'm really excited about this one it would go very nice with sandals with sneakers um, tight heels would actually work but i wouldn't wear high heels with this personally i wouldn't i feel like it's pushing the boundary a bit for myself but yeah love this the next item that i got from the fix as well which was also on sale is this i'm i'm sure you know this dress i am pretty sure you know this dress i'd be surprised if you don't know it so it's this um satin skirt from the fix and then it's got a slit over here and it's got the zipper at the back it also does the crisscross thing but what made me buy this one is because um the other ones that they had it had a scoop a sc it was a, it had a low back and it was scooped and also in front it was scooped so scooped isn't like it was loose so my problem with that is that would mean i shouldn't wear a bra with it and like i am against wearing not against but i prefer not to wear a bra if my bra straps are going to be showing so i had a problem with that because it was too low i would need support in the front and there was honestly no support for that so with this one and the zipper in the fact that it's a bit higher up um i can actually get away with not wearing bra so i love this one 
it's not too tight but it's very fitted i was hoping to wear a shirt over it and let the bottom hang as if it's a satin skirt but because it's so fitted i'm not really too sure if i'll be able to get away with that i'll give it a try but apart from that i am very happy with this dress and yeah i got it for this was also 120 and the normal price is 230 so i got it for 120 and the normal price was 230 the next item from the fix which is also fairly recent is is this skirt i love it i love the color so much it's in the color it's in copper copper i got it in size 10 and um it's got like a ruching on the side it's so nice i feel like it's so sexy and you know like the funny thing is i was talking about how I wanted to have like a two-in-one with the dress but have it as a dress and then I'd have it mimic a, a skirt with uh, by wearing a shirt over it and then like randomly I walk into the fix uh, at Main Lane and then I saw this and I saw the price was like ha ah, this is actually for the fix and for what it is I found it to be um, quite affordable this was 170 rand you guys like I would expect this to be like two something or 300 from the fix but this was a steal i'm very very happy with it it's actually a two-piece i couldn't find a top in my size but i'm actually glad that i didn't because i feel like this is a bit um it's a bit it's, it's, it makes quite a statement so yeah i'm really happy with this i'm really happy i love it i'm glad that i finally have a midi skirt although i really do want a black one but for now i'll just settle for this one thing. it will do the next items are from like Chinese stores. I can't remember the, the name of the shop, but then if you're from PE um, and you're coming up from Norwich through Traduna, there's the escalators and then there's Z Africa, if I'm not mistaken, the shop next to it. It's not, it's, it's not Dex. Okay, but yeah, the shop next to Z Africa. Um, at Traduna Mall. I've noticed personally, I feel like they're the most affordable shop out of all the shops there because I got this dress for, I'm sure you know this dress, it's like the red dress. Um, I got it in black and mine is in the midi length. I wanted to go for white but I was scared that it was going to be see-through. Um, yeah, I got this dress, it was 150 rand, like, which I feel like it was very affordable. I'm in the size large. I don't know how accurate that is you see what i mean when i say that the sizes are not accurate uh, with my next item but this is the dress that i got it was 150 rand i'm sure you'll be able to get it like just check your nearest whether it's small street or china mall or like a china shop or indian shop yeah shop jamakule now you know which shops i'm talking about i'm sure you'll be able to get this one and they have it in different colors as well the next item that i got from the very same shop is are these mom jeans very very nice i love them i love them so much i just wish that the waist wasn't so tight but then um i was kind of limited in terms of options because um they didn't have medium and when i tried medium in a different color i noticed that it was too baggy so for me it was like okay either choose a really really um a loose waist or get a waist that it's a bit tight but then the fit is really good so i just opted for the waist that is a bit tight because in my mind i i think i'm gonna lose weight this year <laughs> so i don't want to have issues with alterations i know it's a reach but yeah i got this and this is in the size small see what i mean like this one is small and the the dress was a large my only problem with these jeans is that as much as they were affordable these were 180 rand they were affordable but then um after my first wash mind you i didn't even use any soap i just washed it in um i just washed it in water because i i stained it the, the first time i wore it right right now don't let it fool you it looks um like very black but then in in the sunlight like in the sunlight it doesn't it's not as it's not as black as i it's not this black that's my only problem with it it's fading like even if like a little bit it holds dust very quickly i don't know it's just weird i've never had a jean catch dust or dirt so quickly but apart from that i i love this um i love this jean and it was affordable the next item is from zara i got these jeans i think 
I think they're straight leg. Yeah, they're straight leg. Um, they were 260. I love those jeans so much. I love how it looks with my heels when it covers my heels. But now the problem is I don't want to have to wait to always wear heels so that I can wear these jeans. Because I noticed that when I fold it, because it's like a straight straight leg it's not like a skinny jean or a mom jean way like at the bottom it's a bit tighter it looks too bulky but then i don't think it would it would look as nice with heels if it's not this long so i want to cut it a bit oh so yeah i'm still i'm still trying to decide on that one but otherwise it's the perfect fit i don't need a belt for this like it's amazing i love it i'm proud of this purchase the next item is a shirt from Macam. I love shopping in the guy section, especially for the shirts and the socks. I feel like the shirts and socks are like really good quality and they just always have fun stuff. And, and then graphic shirts have got things that make sense. Like I don't like graphic t-shirts from the women's section. I prefer the men's section. And also when I saw this, I saw this on my little brother and share my little brother like <laughs> He actually has a shirt and I was just like, you know what, you're just going to have to forgive me because there's no way I need this shirt. I love line art. I think it's line art, but I love it so much. So um, when I saw this, I was like, yes, this is so me. I need to get this. I need to get this. So um, this is the a shirt from my camp. I think it's the Nilo nilo something it's called nilo something i got a size medium i would have loved to like have gone a size up because because of my arms it's a bit tight here so would, i would have loved for it to be a bit looser but otherwise i love it so much they also have it in black but then in black the line art is actually at the back which i think is so dope but yeah this is the one that i got and it was 140 and like i'm only realizing now like this clothing haul is actually like of affordable stuff like i'm proud of myself um and i feel like i actually do need everything yeah no the last two items that i have to show you are actually dresses i'm so proud of myself like i'm telling you guys i was bitten by a dress bug because all that i look for when i go into a shop is dresses like i just want to wear dresses i've got this i just want to feel like a lady and i feel like a lady when i'm wearing dresses so yeah i'm really into dresses right now and also i'm gonna say this again you guys please 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 do not sleep on fashion wall i know it's overwhelming but like when you have, when you have time just go in there and browse around and you might actually find some gems yeah. I love the dresses that I've gotten from them. Like they make me feel like a lady. That's like that is my vibe right now. I'm on baby girl um, energy, and like when when I wear a dress, I feel like a baby girl. So I love it. Um, the first dress is this one right here. Um, I like I I don't know if I can like. I don't think I need to say much because the dress itself just it just speaks for itself. I love the color, it's so vibrant. Like I'm even excited talking about it. I haven't worn it out, but like I know I'm gonna look like well, I look cute in it, but yeah, it's gonna be like a really great day the day that I wear this dress. Um yeah, I really love it. It's it came in they had a couple of colors. I hope to get white because I've been on the search for these white um trapeze or is it baby doll doll Yo, yeah those dresses and i've noticed that right now a lot of white dresses i just they're either hard to find or they um highly priced but because now nah, i don't give up i search and search and i search and i search and i search until i find it i actually did find a white dress and a price that i'm actually willing to pay and again i'm gonna say this again you guys do not sleep on fashion wall because i got this dress from fashion wall and the thing is when you get in there like i don't know how else to explain it you need to switch on your fabric eyes you know like you must be able to scan through all the clothes and just look for certain fabrics and what i do when i go to fashion world is i look for this fabric this is the fabric that i look for and yeah i've noticed that the pieces that i find in that fabric usually most of the times 
most of the time i love them this is something that i got today and i don't know it's so weird maybe it stood out for me because i've been wanting a white dress but this is the dress that i got so it's basically the dresses that are currently training right now and i'm so sad like when i was trying it on my brother's like what are you doing with the maternity dress i'm like do you not understand fashion do you not understand <laughs> he kind of crushed me but you know what? it's fine um this was 170 rand like imagine um i got it in the size 34 same with the orange one i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy i need to go out for like a lunch date or something because these these stuff need to be worn <laughs> but um yeah guys that's it for me and because most of the stuff i got them when they were on sale or like from shops like mr price honestly if i buy something a week or two weeks later it probably won't be available or even these sale items so i'm gonna say this again if you would like to um know about these things the moment like i find out about it um you can follow me on instagram even if not for like the alerts and stuff i would really really appreciate it if you'd go give me a follow on instagram and just engage with my content i'd really really appreciate that if you're coming from here on youtube to go follow me on instagram leave a sunflower emoji and i'll make sure to follow you back um that's it for me um i'm very very happy with the stuff that i bought well most of the times i'm very happy with the stuff that i buy because why would I buy it if I don't actually like it? But the only problem are the pajamas. I'm just like, so what do I do? What do I do? I don't know. So that brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. As well as comment down below what your thoughts are on any of these items. And also, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. And until the next one, you guys.